in this video, I try to survive 100 days in hardcore Minecraft as a dragon girl, having the ability to fly around with my dragon wings. After I find out that my home dimension has been taken over by an evil ender dragon, I sought out on a mission to restore the end dimension back to what it once was, free of corruption. In order to do so, I must obtain the resources and tools that will help me in battle, fight off some of the bosses and monsters that are wreaking havoc, and lastly, defeat the ender dragon and bring back harmony. Will I be able to accomplish all of this in only 100 days, and what friends will I make along the way? Keep watching to find out! On day one, I found myself in a magical looking forest. I took a look around before I began being attacked by both an enderman and a slime. Now I completely panicked and I jumped into the water to avoid him, where there were two more slimes. I punched one and it immediately dispersed into a dozen little slimes. I hit them one by one and then I tried to figure out an escape plan. I swam over to this tree in order to try to dig out a hole to run into to avoid the enderman. He continued to teleport to me and I hit him away a few times before continuing to dig out a hole for me to run into. Go away! Shoo! I ran into the tree and I crafted a crafting bench and some sticks. I then proceeded to make a sword in which I used to hit the enderman and this new slime. I killed the enderman and I continued to kill each and every single little slime until they were all finally dead. Finally, jeez, those are so annoying. I then made some additional tools, was interrupted, and then I collected more wood since I was conveniently surrounded by it. I exited the tree and I found myself in this purple enderman biome. Food was going to become an issue, so I quickly grabbed some chorus fruit, although this is probably the worst food in Minecraft, as it teleports you when you eat it. I also found this odd structure, but it didn't seem to belong to anything important. I entered the forest again, and I found another structure with an empty barrel. Lame. While traveling, I accidentally looked at this mutant enderman, who made me blind. I began taking damage, and I finally remembered, hey, I have wings. Why am I not just flying to escape? Duh. I landed on top of this tree, but the enderman continued to follow me, so I flew a bit further. However, I began being attacked again by these shadow endermen, which, simply put, are terrifying. While flying around, I found this odd structure, but to be honest, I couldn't be bothered to figure out its purpose. I did spot another mutant enderman, and I was very careful to avoid him as much as possible. He's kinda sorta very scary, so... no thanks. I was in pretty desperate need of armor and materials, so I flew around searching for an end city to loot, discovering this beautiful biome in the process. Eventually, I found one, but upon landing, I was immediately attacked by an enderman I'd accidentally looked at. And I struggled to fly away, but I successfully escaped on only three hearts. After regenerating some, I made my way over to the city, and I mined my way into one of the rooms, which had nothing. After eating some fruit, I teleported to the top of a tree. This was already getting super old. I made it back to the city, ate some fruit, teleported, and began being attacked again. Super fun. I decided that I would instead try to just get the loot in the ship, at least first, hoping it had some kind of armor. I ran down the stairs and I grabbed the health potions. I then killed the oh so annoying shulker and I took the loot inside the chest, but it failed to have anything very useful. I also took the dragon head, which don't worry guys, it's decoration, a memento, not real. I made my way into the other part of the city and I collected more of the loot it held. It had a chest plate and pants, but unfortunately the chest plate had cursive bindings, so it was basically useless. I left the city and I spotted this strange blue ore in the distance. I mined it and I discovered it was the Lazium, a special ore belonging to the end. I also found this ore, which ended up being ender shards, and these would be very useful later on. I crafted an endstone furnace, and I began smelting the thalassium. I can't say that. The thalassium. The thalassium. The thalassium. After trying to craft a pickaxe, I discovered that crafting was much more complicated with this kind of ore, and I would need a ton more of it. So I continued collecting more, while being scared out of my mind as this mutant enderman was standing right in front of me. Please leave me alone. I'm scared. After mining for a bit, this weird creature began attacking me, so I ran, well, flew, away. I also spotted some other creatures, and I decided, nah, I am not ready to fight them. So I flew much, much further away. But after landing in another location, I began being attacked by the same creatures again, with this one seeming to throw something at me. Kinda like the end's version of a skeleton, but just more annoying and ugly. 
continued to smelt the thalassium, collected some more wood, and then I casually began being attacked by this weird slime that had stuff growing out of it. Ew. After my thalassium had smelted, I finally crafted a thalassium anvil, which I would need for making any materials. I also crafted a smithing table, as I would need this too. I then made a hammer, a pickaxe head, and finally, I made a thalassium pickaxe. That was exhausting. I already needed more thalassium, and I swiftly avoided the slime instead of fighting him, just not worth my time. I figured I needed a better weapon to protect myself, so I went ahead and I made a blade, a mandal, and finally, a thalassium sword. Nice. Luckily, armor was a much easier process, so I crafted some of that. I then went through all the pain again just to craft a thalassium axe. After collecting some more wood, I continued on my way, collecting some more ore in the process. I soon found myself in the presence of this strange dungeon, which was being protected by these end creatures. I went up the stairs, finding this chest, which had some useless stuff. But it did have this end robes helmet, which had 11 armor. Kind crazy. I continued up to the roof, which I instantly regretted. Luckily, I can fly, and I did just that. I returned to try to fight, but I was quickly overwhelmed. I decided I needed to break these spawners if I wanted any chance of getting the loot. So I did. But the loot was kinda garbage. I then was attacked by another odd creature, but he got scared, I guess, and he teleported away. There wasn't really anything left here, so I flew to the other roof and I rinsed and repeated. This dude kept hitting me from a distance, and after nearly dying, I finally killed him. The loot here was identical to the last, but it did have the statue of a random dude, so I decided to take it instead. After finding yet another in-city, I landed on top of the ship, dug myself inside, took the loot, killed the shulker, and took the rest of the loot. Cool stuff. I did find this diamond chest plate, which was actually stronger than my thalassium one, but I didn't take it for some reason. I flew into this very dark biome, and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I did not even notice the shadow people that were walking around. But my gut did tell me to get the heck out of there, so I did. Good job, Lindsay's intuition. Over in this beautiful lake, I found some glowy fish, which I got so super excited for because I thought this was going to be a new source of food. But uh, they don't drop fish for some reason. Sucks. I also found some pretty jellyfish which dropped gelatin, but I'm not really sure what this is used for. Oh, okay, cool. Things I can't craft. Sad again. After flying around some more, I found a structure that is actually supposed to be a tower, but it collided with the terrain. I assumed it was likely it didn't generate properly due to this, but I decided to check it out nevertheless. I went up the stairs, and I found these pretty blue flowers. I then dropped down to the basement, which is supposed to have some crazy loot. I found some amber in the process, which was another ore that would be super useful later. I continued exploring the deep halls, even finding these bug-like creatures contained away. Unfortunately, this tower didn't generate properly, so there was nothing else. But, spoiler, I do find a proper one later, and let me tell you, ooh, you better stick around for that, because it is, it's nice. In another end ship, I found some berries, which was very, 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 very nice for a change of food. I decided it was time I find a place to settle down because all of this flying around was getting exhausting and my inventory was overflowing. I found this beautiful enchanted forest and decided this would be the perfect location to settle down. I accidentally looked at this enderman, but I was able to kill him pretty swiftly. I crafted some chests and I put my loot inside, and then I came across these colorful crystals. I collected some of it for no reason, and then I spotted these alien-looking creatures in the distance. I also noticed some spectres flying around, and these were like the less annoying version of phantoms. I decided to approach one of the creatures, and it seemed to be passive. But I was curious, so I killed it, and it dropped meat, which I was super stoked about. However, what I didn't know was that if you attack one, well, every single one of them are going to attack you. And there were a lot of them. A ton. I continued to fight them because I needed food and I was willing to die if it meant I didn't have to eat coarse fruit anymore. After a bit though, I gave up and I flew away. Maybe it wasn't worth dying for. Now, I needed to find pretty wood to use to build my house, so I began a journey for just this. But I accidentally spotted the structure in the distance, so I decided to check it out. There was this strange pool of black... I don't know... It could have been like a portal, but I was not stepping in whatever that gunk was. Inside the chest was a 14 armor chest plate. 14. What the heck? I put it on, but wow, that is ugly. I look ridiculous. The other chest was very, very meh. I did inspect the black goo, and I really did contemplate just going, you know, for like a little swim, but uh, I value my life. So, 
Eventually, I came across this biome, which had this beautiful pink wood, and although I don't like to consider myself super girly, a pink house? Come on, guys. So I collected tons of this wood. After doing so, I found this biome, which had these like lotus type flower light things, I don't even know. But after breaking it, it floated into the sky, which was honestly quite beautiful. A moment of silence for this floating flower. I was also curious of these jelly looking blocks, which would float after hitting them. I noticed this cocoon in the distance and these things were coming out of it and I thought maybe I could like, you know, collect it and take it home. So I tried breaking it, but instead I just destroyed these guys' home. I'm sorry. And now it was finally time to build my house. Hi guys, this is uh, Lindsay while editing and I was trying to edit the replay for building my house and um, this is what the replay looks like. Here's me. Hi Lindsay. So as you can see, I am building my house, but uh, the textures are all messed up. I don't know why. I'm not really sure what to do. I feel like something goes wrong every time in my replays for my building house, so I just wanted to show you guys. I did build it. I did. Okay, bye. House tour time. Now I am quite limited on space, so bear with me. So we go in the front door. Yep, that's it. Okay, I look just, no, this is not allowed. I tried putting on an invis armor texture pack, but uh, it doesn't hide modded textures, so this is awkward. I decided to craft full thalassium armor just in order to avoid this atrocious looking armor. Yes, I'm going to give up like 24 armor just to look prettier. Beauty is pain. I was running low on food, so I traveled back to this biome in order to collect some meat. I then traveled to this biome in order to mine some amber because I knew I would need it later. I found another end ship, however, this one had strange slimes on top that literally had swords. They did so much damage, so initially I flew away, but I went back and I continued to fight back. I went down the stairs, but there was another one of those slimes waiting for me. I killed him and I looted the chests, which were not worth any of what just happened. After some more travel, I found the spooky entrance, which I decided to explore, of course. Oh, that's reassuring. I noticed a chest in the distance and inside was some diamond armor. I continued down the halls until I got jump scared by this creature. He began attacking me, but I was quickly able to kill him. Inside the chest was some diamond, gold, and tons of iron. I'll take it. Unfortunately, the dungeon had nothing else. I decided to collect some of these crystals because I assumed they would be useful, which they were. These shards were used to craft crystallite armor, but the crafting for it was kind of complicated. Still, I collected it anyway and set a goal for myself that I would have a full set of this armor by the end of the 100 days. Later, I found these weird jelly things, but after collecting one, this floating squid began attacking me, as did this enderman, getting me down to only three hearts. Still, I learned I could make stew with this jelly, so I sought out on a mission to collect some jelly. I flew back down, attempting to take more, but I was quickly attacked again. I was surrounded by these squids. Finally, after killing them, I collected more of the jelly. But no, I did not make the stew. I totally forgot. I then found the structure and I decided to check it out, but I then began being attacked by an enderman, almost dying. I assumed there must be something here, so I mined around, eventually finding a chest, which had nothing, nothing. Awesome. The brewing stand did have some powder though, so I did take that. I also found another one of these dungeons, so I once again risked my life to get the loot here, but the loot was identical to the other dungeon, so uh, yeah. After nearly dying for the 100th time today, I found another end tower, and this one was not disappointing. I went down to the basement, and after walking down some of the halls, I encountered these little blue chest things, I don't know what they are, but they would run away as I hit them. Still, there were tons of them, so I ran away, and then I flew away, almost dying. I came across this opening, and I saw that there was a lot of space to cover. Oh my god. Back in the spawner room were a couple of chests that had some books. Sure, okay, I'll take it. I found another spawner room which had some enchanted books and I realized that this was likely the overall theme of the loot here, which I was totally okay with. After finding some bread, some bread, I found this room which I found to be incredibly cruel. After running down the hall, I noticed some kind of golem standing there. More of these little blue things began attacking me but then the golem hit me, almost one-shotting me. After nearly dying again, I found this room which had a sharpness book and a protection book, as well as some obsidian and apples. I somehow found myself in a little tussle with this enderman and he somehow almost killed me. Do I suck at Minecraft this much? Considering how many near-death experience I had had, I decided it was probably wise to craft some golden apples. 
immediately almost dying again. I collected more loot and the spawner room seemed endless at this point. After some time, I found this room which had an end portal, which I found interesting. And after being attacked again, I decided I had had enough. And after admiring these like bug things, I flew off. I went back home and I began the process of upgrading my armor and tools to terminite as I would need terminite armor for crystallite armor. Plus the lazium is garbage. I made an instone smelter, but to smelt the iron into terminite, I would need a blaze rod or lava to smelt it. But there was a problem. I'm in the end. I decided to fly around in search of lava anywhere, but uh, after tons of searching, I found to find any, obviously. I decided I would need to travel to the nether in order to collect these materials. So I built a portal and I traveled there. I dove down to collect some lava in probably the newbiest way possible, and I then filled my other buckets after almost dying. Back on land, I began attacking this hoglin, but then I was approached by this pig creature that began throwing some kind of substance at me again and again. After getting me down to one and a half hearts, I flew away and I quickly ate a golden apple to avoid dying to something else. I found this unfamiliar structure and I decided to check it out. Inside was another weird creature and I wasn't sure how strong he was so I began attacking him from a distance to avoid dying. But he unfortunately dropped nothing and there was nothing inside the building either. I then accidentally flew into this lava, almost burning to death. Cool. Eventually, I found a fortress and a blaze spawner. Rods were another burning fuel for the furnace, so I decided to farm these guys for a while, almost dying a few times. I went back home and I continued smelting the iron into terminite. And while collecting some items, I accidentally looked at this mutant enderman. I went blind and he began attacking me and I knew I was no match for that and I flew away. Now this part, well, it was a lot of standing around and waiting. I did however decide to craft the pedestal I would eventually need for the crystallite armor. I also began crafting my terminate armor and I tried putting it on the pedestal, but then I realized I had no idea how to use this. In the meanwhile, I started adding some of my enchanted bugs to my armor and I made it a bit stronger. While trying to craft terminate tools, I realized I would need a terminate anvil to do so, which uh, sucked. I didn't have enough ore, so I went back out to collect more. Very tedious. I continued doing the not so fun stuff, but don't worry, I won't bore you with the waiting. After way too long, I finally was able to craft the anvil and I started making the pieces for the tools and then finally the tools themselves. After some more flying around, I found this building in the middle of the forest, and it was surrounded by these alien bugs. They dropped something called Void Jaw. I continued my way into the building, and there didn't seem to be anything around. I found a room with a couple of chests, which actually had some very good loot. While walking around, this strange thing popped up from the ground, but I continued on my way, and I collected the rest of the loot. I spotted a double chest, which had a dragon egg inside. This made me even more motivated to get out of this place alive. While looking around, I began taking damage, but I realized these little pillar things did damage if I was hit by it, so I needed to be more careful. After going down this hallway, I saw a giant void golem rise from slumber, and after hitting the ground, some kind of crystals began rising from the ground to attack me. I continued fighting back, but the void golem did so much more damage than I did, and I neared death again and again. I began timing my attacks to his, which helped me get him lower, but I was struggling to fight him off. Eventually, I was able to kill him. And after killing the void bugs, I collected the item he dropped, which was a void core, supposedly allowing me to summon void ruin. I continued through the halls and collected any loot I could find. After collecting these chests, I noticed a lever and I pulled it, opening a doorway. After dropping down, I went through the curvy halls and I continued to loot the place for anything it had. Soon, I came face to face with another void golem. He immediately began attacking me and I fought back, but like before, his damage was super heavy. He or the blocks seemed to have the ability to teleport me around, which was super disorienting. My shield was almost broken and I knew if I didn't make a new one, I would die. I quickly crafted a new shield and I returned to battle. Unfortunately, I was losing, and after a back and forth, I was down to half a heart. 
Finally, with one last hit, I killed him, and he dropped another totem. I looted the chest, which was meh, and I continued through the halls once again. I found another passageway, and I mined my way down into it. After hitting the box, the Ender Guardian appeared and immediately began attacking me. battle, I finally killed him. He dropped something called the Gauntlet of Guard, which was supposed to be able to pull entities towards me. After making my way back home, I decided to try to use the Gauntlet, but instead, I just ticked off the Sunderman. If any of you know how to use that thing, let me know in the comments. My armor was all nearly broken, so I went ahead and I repaired it. I also laid down the egg I'd found a hatch so I could have a friend. I was getting pretty lonely. I'm super stupid, and I thought I needed a whole bunch of these pillars to craft the crystallite armor, but uh, no. I eventually realized I needed these kinds of pillars, so I crafted some and I set them around the pedestal. And now, I could finally have crystallite armor in time for the dragon fight. I am looking pretty fancy if I do say so myself. I also made a bow with some of the string I had found, and I put the power forward enchantment book on it. A few days later, I saw my dragon waiting outside for me, and she entered my house, but then she began suffocating in the wall. I needed to name her, and to honor my dragon for my fantasy video, I named her a similar name. I wanted Ari to be full grown before we travel to the Ender Dragon, and after entering my house, uh, I noticed the dragon head, and I decided maybe that wasn't so appropriate, and I hid it. I put my saddle on Ari, and then we began our journey to find the evil Ender Dragon to finally bring Harmony back to the end. As much as I love Ari, this is slower than just me flying on my own. Finally, we made it to the Ender Dragon, and I sat Ari down so that she wouldn't get hurt, and I began the battle. Immediately upon killing the Ender Dragon, a mutant Enderman got aggroed at me. He immediately began attacking me, absolutely deleting my health. I decided to fight back, and I did my best to kill him. He sent his shadow Enderman at me though, and I was no match for all of them. I did my best to swoop in and collect the XP, and then the mutant Enderman let out a huge growl, and I knew I needed to get out of there. Finally, I jumped into the portal, but after teleporting to the overworld, I realized I left Ari behind. Nah, I am going back to the end. I traveled back and I attempted to squeeze Ari through, but I just fell through in the process. I decided I preferred the end anyway, and I traveled back. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Vian, Novella, Bucket, Fox vs. You, and Acefa for being my YouTube members. I love you all, thank you for the support, bye!